Thank four you. minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in strong support of the bipartisan Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act, S-178. But first, I would like to thank Chairman Goodlatte of Virginia, Ranking Members Conyers from Michigan of the Judiciary Committee for bringing this important bill to the floor for consideration. I also would like to thank Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee for her leadership and for managing the bill today for the Democrats. And a special thank you to the original sponsors. This comprehensive legislation is a major milestone in our efforts to crack down on sex trafficking trafficking and to help protect vulnerable children across America. One of my top priorities of the 114th Congress was to pass my trafficking bill, H.R. 246, and today's bill includes it and nine other bipartisan House bills aimed at combat combating the scourge of human trafficking. I thank Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Grassley for offering the language of my bill as an amendment during the markup of S-178 to ensure its inclusion in this legislation. Mr. Speaker, on March 2, 2015, I sat through the Senate Judiciary Committee markup to witness and hear the committee's discussion and vote. And today, I am proud to stand on this House floor with colleagues on both sides of the aisle advocating for this legislation that will provide child sex trafficking victims with greater restitution, justice, and resources. Mr. Speaker, human trafficking is one of the fastest growing crimes in the world. We have heard that, and it is worth repeating. In fact, according to the United States De State Department, Human trafficking is the world's second largest criminal enterprise after illegal drug trade. As we know, it is not just happening in faraway lands. It happens in our own backyards. I am proud to have participated and led discussions on preventing child sex trafficking in my district. Last year, I joined a bipartisan roundtable discussion to hear firsthand stories and challenges from once child victim Teresa Flores, who is now a national spokesperson and best-selling author of The Slave Across the Street. In the United States, some 300,000 children are at risk each year for commercial sexual exploitation. In my home state of Ohio, each year an estimated 1,100 Ohio children become victims of human trafficking and over 3,000 more are at risk. The average age of trafficked victims in the United States is between 12 and 13 years of age. At this early age, Mr. Speaker, children should be in middle school, making new friends, playing sports, enjoying after-school programs, or just being children. Mr. Speaker, these children deserve better, and today's legislation is much needed, a much needed step in that right direction. We know that no single system can successfully combat trafficking. Preventing, identifying, and serving victims of trafficking requires a multi-coordinated approach across all levels of government, as well as input and assistance from non-government entities and the American people. My provision in this bill will update federal law to include the term child sex trafficking to reinforce that children who are trafficked should not be criminalized as prostitutes, instead treated as victims. We need to ensure people understand that if they report an instance of child sex trafficking, law enforcement is not going to pursue the child and prosecute them as a criminal. The gentleman's they time are has expired. victims. May I have five more seconds, please? I, I yield the gentlelady 15 seconds. The gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. So let me end by saying I am asking and encouraging all people when they see something, say something. Mr. Speaker, I urge, urge my colleagues today to support this legislation so we may send it to the President's desk for signature, finally bringing justice to the tens of thousands of human trafficking victims. Thank you, and I yield back.